So we just arrived at Vayanar for a four-day fun-filled trip to Kerala. Even the airport is so green. <laughs> Look. So we just reached the airport, picked up our luggage, and now I am heading out. हे hey गाइस तो जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं आई एम एट वायनाड इन केरला यू प्रॉब्ली हर्ड ऑफ एलपी मुन्नार कुचिन और तेकड़ी व्हेन इट कम्स टू केरला बट वायनाड हियर इज एन ऑफ बीट एंड लेस नोन डेस्टिनेशन कैरेक्टराइज बाय द मेनी टी एंड राइस प्लांटेशंस हियर यहां से क्लोजेस्ट एयरपोर्ट है कन्नूर या कैलिकट एयरपोर्ट और इवन कोरिकोड एयरपोर्ट वायनाड हैज नो रेलवे स्टेशन सो यू कैन गेट ऑफ एट कोरिकोड रेलवे स्टेशन एंड देन टेक अ बस फॉर वायनाड केरला <laughs> Eight in the morning, and oh my God! Look at the view I woke up to. I'll show you. And this is the property I'm staying at. It's called Parisian Plantations. Beautiful property. And did I mention how large it is? It is four thousand five hundred acres large. This is putte karla, very popular breakfast in Kerala, जो बनता है काला चना और राइस फ्लार से. And take it from a Malayali, it tastes amazing. What is our first destination? Edical Caves. Edical Caves. And how far is Edical Caves from here? One hour twenty minutes. Oh, okay. Cool. Anson is our chauffeur for the day. Anson, say hi. Hi. So contrary to what a lot of people think. I'm actually solo on all of my shoots. 80% of my content is shot by me and the other 20% is from the people I meet, friends I make or even random people on the street. This shoot however, I had helped to catch some amazing cinematic shots of Kerala. So hum fly karne wale hai ek drone ko. travel in vayanad how will we travel would we be able to rent a scooty or only local transport mostly we plan to bring taxi here taxi what yeah. is the rate for taxi renting here yeah actually per kilometer is 18 for the sedan class so we are now heading to edical caves which is one of the most popular places here in vayanad quite a lot to climb Ooh. All the plastic is here. I don't think you'd find plastic anywhere around. Hey, so now we are at Edical Caves, which is about 10 to 15 minutes of a hike from the starting point. As unique and beautiful Edical Caves is, getting there isn't the easiest. The hike is very long and medium in difficulty level. Not for someone with a faint heart. It's best to reserve minimum 2 hours to explore the whole of Edical Caves. What's interesting to note about this place is that it's a part of a shelter home or uh, in other words a house for ancient people also when you enter you see a lot of inscriptions written which is what uh, stands out the most about this place so come we'll show you around so we just 
got done with the caves we're heading down and on to our next destination or activity rather which is cycling and zip lining in our very own Vainad. What did you like most? Going down back to the <laughs> From here I headed to catch some Satya meal which is authentic Keralite food on a banana leaf. Many sirf pay kiya 70 rupees just me mujhe mila 6 to 7 curries, rice, Kerala papadam and a banana. Something I've realized while traveling in Wayanad is that a lot of places are far away from each other, like Erigal Caves to the zip lining area where I'm going to next. So plan your day accordingly. So I am now at Muddy Boots in Puridana, which is very popular for zip lining, and it is surrounded by lush green tea plantations. I can't wait to take you and show you around. So how long is this zip line? So 400 meters zip line actually. It's 400 meters. 500 meters. 500 meters. And I've heard this is the longest in Vienna. Yes, yes. The planning here was really amazing and it's definitely a must do if you like adventure sports. Cycling is also another option here and it's so therapeutic doing it amidst the tea plantations. Walking into the tea plantations here. Wow, it's quite steep. I ended my day with spending it at a tea plantation in Wayanad. It's so much fun walking through the tea plantation. You feel this kind of fresh air on your face and you can smell the tea too. You know, something I notice about these fishes is that they follow you. So if I'm walking here, they swim by here to come beside me. That is so sweet. Fishies, you are so sweet. Despite coming to Kerala so many times in the past, this was the first time I visited and explored Wayanad. Its beautiful roads, warm people, lush greenery kept me wanting for more. Unfortunately, two days isn't enough to cover the whole of Wayanad. Ideally, a day or two more than my trip would be the perfect amount of time to visit. Also, since it's low-key, less crowded, it's going to be just you and the nature, which in my opinion is the perfect recipe for a great trip. So my trip in Vayanad has come to an end. Now on to our next destination which is Palakkad. Thanks for watching this solo female traveller and tuning in on Curly Tales. Until next time, this is me Neha Namdar signing out and stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>